unto all the men. I want you to take this but for a moment and to listen. Because there's one thing about a woman, especially your wife. She can either take this ride with or without us. And so many times that it has been proven. It has been proven so many times by us almost destroying our own marriages. But that woman, she chose rather to stay. And I want to say that we have gone through this struggle in life and we never want to go down that lonely dark road ever again. And it can happen. It's possible. None of us are that macho image fella that we pretend that we are. We have all found some lonely corner of darkness that we've sat in and we've sat and we've cried tears. Tears that actually came from our eyes not knowing what the end results will be. And certainly we want to say unto those that are going through the struggles even today that Mark 10 and 9, the Bible tells us, whatsoever God has joined together, let not man put asunder. And I know that so many of us, we're not listening because we're not servants of the Lord. And then there are those who do not serve God and they have good, wonderful marriages. It's all because God is allowing it. But we must learn to put him first. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things shall be added unto you. And I want to say to those of us men who are listening, even at this time, take time out and share this information with a friend. Share it with a buddy. Because you might be the one that can help him at this time to savage what is left in his own marriage and possibly in yours. God bless and God keep us. Watch over us. Watch over our families. Dear Lord, keep us and our wives together. As husbands, let us be good and righteous and fair unto them and honest. Lord, let us love them as you have given them unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. We give thanks for it all. Amen.